Hello and welcome to Akshu's Kitchen. Today you will see how to prepare a Mickey Mouse cake for which for which I have prepared a 8 inch sponge cake and 2 4 to 5 inch 2 4 inch small cakes. It can be either 4 inch or 4.5 up to 5 inch. It gets the correct shape of a Mickey Mouse. Here I have used 8 inch cake and 4.5 inch cakes and I have got some black color buttercream first so the recipes of both sponge cake that is plain vanilla cake and buttercream icing you can find in Akshu's kitchen channel on YouTube and I've got a Mickey Mouse picture with me and I am just drawing the outline of the Mickey Mouse face using tip number 20 it gives out small drops of flower shape so using that I am giving the outline of the Mickey Mouse face so starting from the eye and then the cheeks on both sides if you find this difficult to draw by just seeing a picture you can press the impression of the picture on the cake first using a butter paper and then it will be easy for you to just pipe out the buttercream now you can see the shape of the Mickey Mouse face is falling into place so once this is done then everything is quite easy you just need to fill the gaps with different colors of buttercream so next I'm going to fill the area out of the Mickey Mouse face and where and all black color is used I am going to completely fill it so also the ears I am going to use the black color so fill both the ears with black color so this seems to be a little gray color but in reality it was really good black in color so if you want even more dark color you can use it next I have changed to tip number three and I'm going to draw the nose in the center so squeeze some amount of cream in the middle and then using a knife I'm going to shape it into a smooth nose and now the nose is ready next I'm going to draw the exact eyeballs with the line so I'm going to use the same 20 number tip for the eyes in the end but just to get the shape first I'm going I'm using the nozzle number or tip number three first so again for the eyes I have squeezed some amount of cream and then I'm going to smooth it using a knife and the eyes are ready next for the mouth I'm going to draw again with the same tip number three so that I get the shape first and then I can thicken it in the end so all these require black color so I am finishing the black color wherever it is necessary and then I'm going to go to the next required color and now the mouth and tongue is ready so to fill the tongue color you will need red color which I'll do it in the final stage so in the gap between the tongue and the mouth there is some place to be filled with black that also I have smoothed with the knife after squeezing some buttercream so next I am going to use the cream color for the face again the same tip number 20 I am going to squeeze flower drops all over the face wherever yellow color is necessary and now the face is completely filled with the cream color that is the face color and next for the eyeballs we need white color so again with the same tip number 20 I'm going to squeeze some white petal drops in the eyes and you can see the Mickey Mouse is already in place you can see the Mickey Mouse shape perfectly now next I'm using red color for the tongue Mickey Mouse face is completely ready now I'm going to use the same red color to cover all the other exposed areas now before using this you can also put a thin coating of cream before piping in the design but it will be too creamy and some people will not too much like too much of icing so that's the reason I have not put a first coating and I have directly squeezed the shape on the Mickey Mouse try to use dark red color it will give a good effect to the Mickey mine turned little pale pink and next I am going to brighten the eyes so initially we used tip 3 and now you can see the difference after using tip number 20 on the eyes so by doing so it will give a good effect to the Mickey Mouse eyes and mouth so it's almost ready only the left out part is the ears I'm going to do it for the ears as well so you can even leave it as it is but you can see the difference when I do it again with tip number 20 it really gives a good finishing effect to the Mickey Mouse and the Mickey Mouse cake is completely ready this is really loved by children for their birthdays and it is very easy to prepare only the cake and the buttercream will take time and the icing it took me less than 30 minutes try it and you'll really like it thank you for watching Akshu's kitchen